Hey, what is up guys? It is next. We just got done molly whopping this fool, giving him the hot 6-1. But real quick guys, what I want to do is make a class setup video. Four singles is 100% four singles. It does work in some other things like 2v2s, 3v3s and that. But uh, real quick, I just want to explain my singles class setups. And uh, I want to explain, I want to go more in depth on exactly where you want them, how, what you use them for, etc. So you guys got no confusion here when it comes to picking your class in a 1v1. Alright, so first and foremost, it's really, really, really important. You always want to have at least one AR class, and uh, you always want to have it in loadout number one. So you can sprint with um, an SMG, and then you can class switch to an AR, and as long as loadout one is the fastest class to switch to, so 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to want to run with an SMG, then switch to an AR, not vice versa. So you always want to have Remington on top, or whatever AR you prefer. But uh, now keep in mind, I always do use uh, front grip and uh, red dot on my Remington, and you always want to equip a pistol, in my opinion. You run, uh, you can always take out your pistol, and you can run much faster with a pistol as opposed to not having a secondary. So I very rarely ever use my pistol. It is mainly just for running, so keep that in mind. And then I like to, always like to have a frag grenade. Frag grenades do come in handy a lot. Uh, they can be used to check places, they can be used to bait people out, all kinds of different things. And as far as the perks go, I like to run Marathon, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, and Focus. Nothing too fancy, a lot of people prefer Ready Up, but I just like to use, uh, I I'd rather have a nade than have Ready Up, essentially. And then for the Strike Package, just, um, I got Quick Draw, or not Quick Draw, Ready Up, then Agility. And that's pretty much it for loadout number one, which is going to be my AR class. And now this is a class I always use. This is what I start round one off in every, like, the very first round of the very first map. This is what I always use right here. It's my go-to class. MTAR, front grip, and muzzle break, followed by a uh, grenade. And then we got marathon, agility, dead silence, focus, and tack resist. Reason being, I hate getting stunned. I despise it. So I always run tack resist. And um, I love having a grenade, as I said before, they can be used for a lot of different things. They come in handy a lot in 1v1s. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry about that. Alright, so now let's go on. Um, now, also, I forgot to say, in 1v1s, guys, you always want to pay attention to the kill cam. It is crucial to pay attention to the kill cam in 1v1s. Why? You want to counter the perks they're using. So if you see a guy running this class setup... If you see he has one, two, three, four, five, six perks, you know he has no room for a lethal or tactical grenade. So therefore, we don't want to use our attack resist class. So if you see your opponent using um, this exact class right here, you want to go ahead and um, you got two options. You can mimic their class and use exactly what they're using, which pretty much balance each other out, level playing field. Or you can go ahead and use this class. And what this class does, it, it gives you two stun grenades. So in the kill camp, since you've seen they're not using tack resist, you want to go ahead and counter that by equipping two stun grenades, and you can just stun them like crazy. So once again, guys, you always want to play counter. So if a guy's using steady aim and not tack resist, you want to equip on the, the, the tactical class, or you just want to use what they're using, which is going to be ready up, marathon, agility, steady aim, dead silence, and focus. And once again, guys, I always run on my MTAR front grip and muzzle break. I really don't switch that up too much. And now here's another class you always, you guys usually want to always have in 1v1s. It helps throw throw off the opponent and kind of switch up the meta game a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to have ready up, marathon, agility, dead silence, focus, and extra tactical. And you want to have a smoke. Now what the smoke does, say for example we're playing freight. We want to go ahead and smoke middle. Uh, it's like throw one smoke middle, throw one smoke red, and then maybe do a sneaky push underground because they're going to be focused on the smoke. And then the next round, if you want, you can throw the same exact smokes and you can run through the smokes this time. Since they think, since you threw the smoke, they're going to think, alright, he's going to go underground again. But this time you just switch it up, use that smoke as cover, and sneak right through the middle and get behind him. So it's always a good idea to have some smoke classes, guys, just to play with their head a little bit. So, um, for the lastly, the class, this, oh, oh, hell, the shoddy Bugatti. Shiny Bugatti is one of my favorite classes, guys, and all I use on it is Ready Up, Marathon, Agility, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, and Focus. It really sucks if the other person is using uh, Stun Grenades, because this class doesn't have any attack resist, but usually uh, I only use this on some maps. I believe I only use it on Freight. That's like the one and only map I ever use it on for the Green Rush, but uh, you guys are welcome to use it on any, any map you want. This is what I would recommend is the Bulldog with Muzzle Break and Extended Mags, and you always want to rock Steady Aim and Ready Up on it. And that's about going to be it for uh, the classes, guys. It's real simple, short, sweet, and to the point. The, the number one point to this video is don't go into a singles match expecting to use one class. Have several classes that are similar able to counter your opponent. 
So uh, just keep that in mind, guys, and I hope this video helped you out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later.